My name's Kate Oakenfold. I'm a sculpture and installation artist working out of Ace Open Studios. My journey into the art world started after I retired from my career in cricket. I hadn't played for a couple of years. I was missing doing something with my hands and I'd always been interested in art um, and decided that doing a, an art degree would be the best way to explore you know, all the different types of mediums. So I did three years of Bachelor of Visual Arts, met some great people, got really inspired and then went on to do honours. Um, and through that, I then got into the Helpman Academy exhibition, which also has then led me to, the, to Ace Open. So I've always been interested in photography, and that was what I intended on studying when I uh, went to uni, and then tried the other disciplines and found that sculpture really resonated with me. My mind seems to work in a 3D way. I've always been a bit of a collector of odd bits and bobs, walking through nature and collecting things as I go along. Through that and learning more about materials, I wanted to yeah, work with the different materials and join them together. And I felt that sculpture was the perfect medium to do that. So my process usually starts with walking through the forest or through the natural landscape, uh, really connecting with the land. And then I'll look at the kind of the structures within the landscape, the shapes, the material, and bring my experience of those walks back into the studio to then create work with uh, various materials that I've found along the way or um, bought materials like using thread or wool or uh, clay, whatever's uh, appropriate for the concept. I guess there's a real sense of balance that I like to use with my materials, juxtaposing that hard and the soft, using uh, the natural material against man-made materials, so say wood and concrete, or um, wood and thread, so, so there's that real contrast. And I guess in a sense, when I'm making the site-specific work, I want to create a place of healing and a place of contemplation where we can think about our relationship with the world around us. One of my greatest inspirations would have to be Sydney-based artist Janet Lawrence. I really resonate with the way she uses art and science and explores healing as well within her work. She takes elements from the natural world, whole trees or birds that have been used for scientific purposes, and she blends all these ideas together. Over the last few months, I've been on plenty of walks because that's been the only thing we've been able to do. So it's been really nice to get in the studio and start creating. And I guess at the moment I'm consolidating some ideas that I've had over that time. Having a studio space is incredibly important for me. It's a place where I feel grounded. It's a place of transformation, of dreaming, of alchemy. You know, it's important to have that space where I can yeah, really feel at home. And, but also being in the studio with so many other people great to bounce ideas off each other and, um, and also the staff at Ace Open having that support from them is fantastic as well.